My name is Julie Boyd and this tutorial shows you how to create a new textile circuit using more than one LED. The cell holders have connector points um, coming off either side um, of the cell holder itself so we can have the LEDs coming from both directions. So if you want two LEDs um, it can be easier to put um, an LED on either side of the cell holder using the connection points with a positive um, uh, a connector going to the positive on the LED and the negative to the negative um, point on the LED. The other way of using more than one LED is to have them next to each other and that's the technique that I'm going to show you now. You can either start by stitching the cell holder first uh, and then going on to the LEDs or do it the other way around. I tend to start um, with the LEDs and work up towards the cell holder. I also tend to start um, with the negative side of the circuit and stitch that before I stitch any of the positive side. So here I've over sewn the um, first um, LED into position on the negative side and I'm now going to put the second LED below it. So I'm going to do some small running stitches going from the first LED along to the second one. Then I'm going to attach the second one in position with my over sewing stitches. So there's my final over sewing stitch and then again running stitches to come up to wherever the cell holder is going to go. So we're um, matching the negative side of the, um, the, the LEDs, so negative here, negative on the second one, up to the negative on my cell holder and then same as before, over sewing the negative side of the cell holder into position. If you're using a standard LED that has the legs then you will need to twist um, the negative leg, as that's the one we're going to stitch first, into a loop, leaving the positive leg untwisted. I've folded it flat out so that it'll sit against the fabric, but it's left untwisted until we've stitched all of the negative legs. My negative legs are now in place, so I'm going to take my thread up to the uh, negative side of the cell holder and stitch that down. So now going back to my original sample, uh, I've got my uh, negative side of my um, circuit in place and I'm now going to stitch the positive side. So I'm going to join the positive side of the cell holder to the positive side on the two LEDs. So my circuit's now complete and I can insert my cell into the cell holder. Here you can see the circuit completed with the standard LEDs where the positive legs have been twisted and joined onto the positive side of the cell holder. I could have more LEDs coming off this end in the same way, so again I would um, use one piece of thread to join up all of my um, uh, negative side of my LEDs to the, um, the cell holder and the same with a separate piece of thread, joining these on the positive side to the positive side of the cell holder. You need to experiment with how many LEDs um, you can attach um, to your cell holder, bearing in mind that the more LEDs that you have, um, um, the less bright they may, they may be. Um, and the less time the, the, the cell will actually last. You can usually get about six LEDs from one cell holder. That's six split across the two sides of the cell holder, not six off each side. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive new tutorials as they are uploaded. Visit the website julieboyd.co.uk for all things D&T, especially textiles, and that includes free resources, a weekly DNT newsletter and course information.